when we try so hard to make changes or when we continue to push the same attempt, the same way of solving problems, sometimes that gets in the way. Sometimes the way we're going about the problem is the problem. Now, this builds a little bit on the recent video around denial, the idea of insanity, doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. Today's wisdom piece here is try the opposite. Do the opposite of what you're trying. If you're trying to help somebody do something, I think this works really well in interpersonal things where you're trying to influence somebody, you're trying to get somebody to change. Why don't you try to stop getting them to change? Now, obviously this can help for you as well. And in today's video, going through the Daily Stoic by Ryan Holiday. Today's reading is June 26th, Try the Opposite. And I hope you find it helpful. My name is Mike Stroh. This is the Starts With Me channel. I'm a therapist, a recovering addict, a meditation teacher, all those kind of things. I'm in long-term recovery. Please subscribe, support this channel on Patreon, share it with someone you think might be helpful, all of that stuff. Let's get into it. June 26th, try the opposite. What assistance can we find in the fight against habit? Try the opposite. Epictetus Discourses 1.27.4. Viktor Frankl, the brilliant psychologist and Holocaust survivor, cured patients suffering from phobias or neurotic habits using a method he called paradoxical intention. Let's say a patient couldn't sleep. The standard therapy would have been something obvious, like relaxation techniques. Frankel instead encouraged the patient to try not to fall asleep. He found that shifting focus off the problem deflected the patient's obsessive attention away from it and allowed them to eventually sleep normally. Fans of the TV show Seinfeld might remember an episode called The Opposite where George Costanza magically improves his life by doing the opposite of whatever he'd normally do. If every instinct you have is wrong, Jerry says to him, then the opposite would have to be right. The larger point is that sometimes our instincts or habits get stuck in a bad pattern that pushes us further from our natural, healthy selves. Now, you shouldn't immediately toss out everything in your life. Some stuff is working. You're reading this book, but what if you explored opposites today? What if you broke the pattern? Perhaps to try this out for yourself, maybe write down some of the things you're trying to change. Some, maybe they're even thinking patterns, behavior patterns, whatever it is you're trying to change, write those down on one side and just for practice on the other side, write down the opposites, right? Or alternative, maybe approaches to a similar thing, but definitely tilted towards the opposite. After you have written down the things that you would like to be different, and you've got some clarity on some of the opposites, see if you can go about practicing those things and see what happens. Maybe you need support from someone else to try. Maybe you need to do a bit more reading, a bit more research. I'm not sure what it is, but through this practice, of writing down what you're trying to change, writing out some of the opposites, as Epictetus says, do the opposite, you'll start to gain insight. And maybe some of these approaches, doing the opposite of the sleeping one's a good one, you'll start to learn more about yourself. You'll start to learn a little bit more about what habits need different approaches and that kind of idea. I think I'm going to experiment with this myself. To be quite honest, I actually can't think of something in particular in this moment that I'm going to attempt it with. One thing, as I mentioned earlier, where this can be very effective is in interpersonal relationships. I often think of my kids, right? I'm trying to get them to clean up. I'm trying to get them to turn off the screens. I'm trying to get them to do something they're not doing. And often when I let go of that, and I do the opposite, or at least I do something else, perhaps uh, go about my behavior in a different way, give them a consequence perhaps, or even just let go of my obsession that something has to be the way I think it is in this moment. That can be very helpful in and of itself. Okay, June 26th, try the opposite 
I hope you found this reading helpful. I wish you all the best. Remember to share this, like it, comment, subscribe, all of that nonsense. And I wish you all the best. Peace out. I am very grateful that you watched to the end of this video. Please click one of the boxes to watch more of our content. And otherwise, have a great day. Peace out.